guys, what's up? It's Daisy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I purchased during the Sephora VIB sale. I'm just going to be giving you guys my recommendations as well as showing you guys what is on my wish list. These are just going to be things that I still want to purchase and hopefully will get to purchase before the sale is over. Before I get right on into that, I just want to briefly break down what the Sephora VIB sale is. So for those of you who do not know, it is their holiday sale event and you can get anywhere from 10% to 20% off your entire purchase. And that is totally dependent on how much money you spend spend in the store. Luckily for me, I get 20% off my entire purchase since I am a Rouge member, but I guess that means I'm spending a little bit too much in the store, but for times like this, it definitely does pay off. So I don't want to ramble on too much, so let's just get right on into the video. So the first thing that I purchased and something that I recommend you guys all try at least once is the Bobbi Brown Extra Lip Tint. If you've watched my past makeup related videos or if you just know me in person, you know that I absolutely love this product. I've gone through so many any of them actually I'll be right back you guys look how many empty tubes I found of this lip tint I found them in my purses just laying around here or there I go through so many these are honestly one of my favorite beauty products of all time I honestly don't know why I still have all of these but I guess it's great to show you guys exactly how much I love them so this is just a color enhancing lip balm they have tons of colors for you guys to choose from and it really just gives you a nice natural wash of color and it does a great job at moisturizing your lips as well one of these actually retails for $29 so it is a little bit expensive but luckily right now they have a set that comes with three lip tints in three different colors. It comes in Bare Pink, Bare Nude, and Bare Poppy. So if you want to try these out, I definitely recommend that you do. Now is a really great time to buy. Just a little pro tip, if you are planning on shopping during the VIB sale, I would definitely recommend you guys look out for any type of value sets like this. You will definitely get the best bang for your buck. Most of the time, the entire set will be the price of one full size item or maybe just a little bit over, but regardless, you're still gonna get a really great deal. Also, just to mention, all of these sets are included in the sale so you get an additional percentage off of the price next up on my list is the Dior lip glow color reviver balm it's actually very similar to the Bobbi Brown enhancing lip tint but it honestly works just as well this one is a little bit more expensive though it's $34 but I would still recommend that you guys go ahead and buy it I honestly love any form of color enhancing lip balms so that's why I just bought them both right now they're actually selling it in a set for $54 it comes with the lip glow and it also comes with their lip maximizer lip plumper which I actually haven't tried yet but I've been meaning to which is why I thought it'd be great to get the set so I say give at least one of these a try I promise you you will not be disappointed next up on the list is the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base this is one of my favorite moisturizers if you've watched my makeup videos you will see that I use this quite often so this is actually a moisturizer and primer in one so that works out perfectly it is super moisturizing and I promise you a little bit does go a long way so this product will last you quite some time so when I went into the store they actually had a size bigger than this one they had this baby right here which is 3.4 ounces which I think is limited edition because I haven't seen this size before maybe it's been around and I just wasn't aware of it okay so I definitely think this is limited edition just because it has this cute little design here but you can definitely see the difference between the two so this one is originally $90 but with the 20% off it came up to 70 too, which is still a lot but honestly I know this is gonna last me a couple months so in my opinion it's a great deal so next I decided to purchase the OG brow product which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow Wiz. I actually haven't purchased this or used this in quite some time since I found a dupe to it and that is the NYX micro brow pencil which retails for $10 the Anastasia brow Wiz retails for $23 but I decided to get this kit because it came with a mini clear brow brow gel in it. Um, it says that it has a value of $34, but this price was $24 in addition to the 20% off. Next up on the list, I purchased one of my favorite primers. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. Whenever I use this, my skin looks photoshopped. It looks so flawless, so I definitely had to repurchase this, um, and this retails for $37. Staying within the Smashbox family, I decided to purchase one of my favorite setting sprays, and that is the Photo Finish Primer Water. This setting spray gives you a nice, natural, dewy finish, and it really just helps all of the 
powders and just all of your makeup to just melt into your skin. So this is definitely another product that I would recommend to you guys if you haven't tried it already. The next thing that I bought is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Believe it or not, I actually haven't tried this product as yet, but I've heard so many great reviews. Apparently this powder makes you look airbrushed, so I'm really excited to see if that works out for me. Hopefully my makeup looks bomb after I use it. I will definitely let you guys know. But the color that I purchased is Mahogany, also known as Deep or number 56. Next up, we're moving into the Fenty family. I absolutely love the Fenty Beauty line as well as the Fenty skincare line. If you haven't watched my Fenty skincare review, go ahead and check that out. So I've been using the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Foundation for quite some time and I really do love it. So I wanted to try out the Hydrating Longwear Foundation as well. I've heard great reviews on this one, so hopefully it works just as well as the Soft Matte one does. So I actually ran out of my favorite bronzer, that's the Bobbi Brown Illuminizing Bronzer in Bali Brown, but I actually wanted to test out a different one, so I purchased the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer in Caramel Cutie. So I actually love the packaging on this one. I've heard great reviews about this as well. Um, I think this will be a great color match for me. Hopefully it is. So yeah, I'm really excited to test it out and see how well it works for me. So the last product that I bought from Fenty Beauty is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. This is actually just a repurchase. I love this concealer and I'm actually running low on the one that I already have. So I definitely had to pick up another one. So the next thing that I picked up are two Two mascaras. These are both from Lancome. This is the Lancome Definitives and this is the Lancome Hypnos Drama. These are both some great mascaras. For the Definitives, as the name suggests, it really just helps to define the lashes and the Hypnos Drama just helps to add some volume to your lashes. I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about Lancome mascaras that often, but they're really great. So I'm here to put you on. I definitely suggest that you go ahead and check them out. They're really great mascaras mascaras as I said before I use them pretty much every time I do my makeup so yeah I would definitely recommend for you to go ahead and check these out last but not least is the Kiehl's avocado nourishing hydration mask I've been seeing this mask all over and I've really been meaning to try it out. I've actually used quite a few of their masks before and I've been really impressed so I'm actually really excited to go ahead and test this one out. Since I haven't tried this one as yet I actually do want to give you guys some recommendations if you guys do want to check out the Kiehl's line. So the two that I recommend are the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask which is just going to rid your skin of any impurities and the Kiehl's Candula Petal Infused Calming Mask which is just going to help hydrate the skin. So that concludes the first portion of this video. Now moving on into the Wish list. So I really want to test out the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray as well as the Finish Setting Powder. I feel like I'm a little bit late to the game because I just heard about their products not too long ago, but I heard they're pretty good so I definitely want to go ahead and give it a try and see how well it works. So the next thing that I want to get is the Patrick Star One Size Makeup Dissolving Mist. I think that is such a cool concept that you can just spray it on your face and it literally will break down and just melt off your makeup. It kind of reminds me of the Clinique take the day off makeup removing balm, which I love. So I really want to see how the spray will work. The next thing that I want to try is the Lene, I think that's how you say it, Lene Lip Sleeping Mask. I really do love lip products and I've heard that this one is really moisturizing. So I'm excited to try this one out. The next thing that I want to try out is just something from the Rare Beauty line by Selena Gomez. When it first came out, I was a little bit skeptical as I'm sure many people were. But once again, I've heard great reviews. So I definitely want to give it a shot. And the last thing that I'm hoping to purchase is the new Master Mattes Eyeshadow Palette by Makeup by Mario. I am all for a neutral eyeshadow palette and I feel like this one will be perfect for any everyday makeup look. So I feel like this will be a great item to add to my makeup collection. So that's about it for this video. I feel like I gave you guys some pretty decent recommendations, so hopefully you found this video helpful. Let me know if you guys end up buying any of these products or if you have any recommendations for me, just let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and let me know. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe before you leave. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.